If the subjective opinion of a person liking or not liking a phone design will make you have trust issues with this person and all the choices they make, maybe you need to rethink how you evaluate people. Hello people, I'm Pigeon. So a couple of months ago, we had a amateur render of phone to a leaked and went viral on Twitter. We thought, what do we do with this? Uh, maybe we can turn it into an opportunity. So we grabbed Carl and we grabbed the rest of the team to sit down and answer some of the questions that were coming out around these tweets about Phone 2A. Let's go. We're familiar with this one. Didn't see it coming. So common in the industry for the products to leak, but every time it happens, it's still the same anger every, every single time. Looks like if I saw anything of this level of resolution, I would probably wait until I saw the final product. We're really excited for people to get this in their hands and, and see it for real. Haters are gonna hate, right? That's what we say. <laughs> I think this is quite a surface level understanding of what a brand is. Maybe they mean that we had a more boxy design for our product. Maybe the Google reference is the camera placement, but come on, have a look. It looks quite different. Actually, I think a lot of people are first kind of surprised with the camera placement. And I think a lot of brands out there tried that before, but they really never got it right. And by positioning the camera module in the center, everything has worked around in terms of all the different components, using this circular grid system around it. Uh, if anything, this is probably one of the most unique phones you've seen. Yeah, I mean, the truth is none of us want to be Apple. None of us want to be Google. None of us want to be OnePlus. That's almost why we exist, because we don't want to be any of those companies. We really are trying to be something much more interesting than just replicating another company. I think products just compete on the merit of the product, not what location made them. Thank you for the lesson in business. TF is this. What's TF? What WTF? But without the W. Is that the new thing now? I don't think everyone will think that. Cyclops only have one eye, so the deformation is when the one eye becomes two eyes or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. It's good imagination, but yeah, I don't see it. So I think design is partially about symmetry, but it's not about symmetry at all costs, if you know what I mean. There's a thing called the Fibonacci sequence, right? It's like the right proportions to make something look good. I think that's equally important, not just symmetry for the sake of symmetry, but the layout of things, making it look harmonious. Symmetry is something that we do talk about. There's some elements of a phone which are just not symmetrical like the, the battery doesn't actually sit in the center. But if you look at all of our products, we have elements of symmetry, but we also have elements of asymmetry as well, often informed by the engineering. I think it's kind of unfair. Um, I think we do a lot more than just lights, and I think we have meaningful utility and functionality based on the Glyph interface, but there are always gonna be people who criticize you or don't believe in what you're doing, and that's perfectly fine, and we should just let them be. I'm really not fussed by this sort of thing. One of the things that made Phone 1 and Phone 2 stand out is we have our Glyphs. So I don't really mind if that is someone's takeaway. It's quite a good representation of, of who we are, really, because it's us trying to do something different, being bold, and not following everyone else. It's a lowercase n, so does that mean nothing, as in doesn't look like anything? Or is Alex casual with his capitals? I feel with this product, we've, we're expanding the universe a little bit, and also we've got a lot more to go in that area. So we didn't start working on this phone thinking we've got to do something different. We started thinking what's the best phone we can make for the users that we're aiming this at. So we end up with something that is nothing, but we're not copying things from previous products. Playing with this kind of design identity, transparency, the initial goal was like, you're two meters away, you know that's a nothing product. I'm trying really hard to see it, but Actually I, I, actually, I see it on this uh, this render here, but not in the final product. For me, it was a really machine-like, friendly design. I never thought of associating it with any cartoon character, but one of my friends said it looked like Baymax, and I can kind of see that. Oh no! But it's not my first impression. We firm believer that form should follow function. This is a core design principle, guys. Here with this camera placement, whether you hold like this, like this, your fingers don't come in the way. So that's one. And the second one is, look at this, doesn't tilt. 
so it's quite kind of stable when you kind of laying your phone like this. If the subjective opinion of a person liking or not liking a film design will make you have trust issues with this person and all the choices they make, maybe you need to rethink how you evaluate people. It's, it's interesting, like someone spent time doing this. I kind of agree with this as well. If it looked exactly like this, maybe you would start to wonder about people. But um, it doesn't. It looks like this. Yeah, there you go. Two reactions to the same thing. So definitely, Ari Blaze would immediately start having trust issues with Prince Habibi in this case. First of all, you've not seen the actual design, so I'd like you to see the design. You still might not like it, we can live with that. I guess that's something for all designers really to, to know is that there's gonna be people that like what you do and there's gonna be people that hate what you do. And really the only thing that matters is do you feel you've done the right thing? and the customers appreciate it, really. I would say, though, to Akash, it's just TF now, it's not WTF. Boom, roasted. What is wrong with you all? This is the best design, finally, a nice sweet moment. Agree. This is actually my favorite design as well. Uh, so Pranav, shout out to you. The best design is actually subjective. Different people have different opinions when it comes to design. I think it's worth keeping in mind that the real test is actually people paying to buy the product and after they pay to buy the product, using the product, how satisfied they are. So we're really looking forward to that feedback and we don't really put too much emphasis on all the noise on the internet. Thank you, I think it's true. But I think it's true not just for us. I think anybody with a dream and the tenacity to keep going for it over a long period of time will create a serious competitive change. So if you have an idea, go for it, don't give up. So basically Phone 2A is a clear upgrade from Phone 1 uh, in terms of battery, screen, camera, and so on. Yet, we'll be launched at the lower price than Phone 1. Why would you buy anything? Buy it if you like it. If it resonates with you, if you think the product is cool, if you can see yourself using it and enjoying it, then buy it. If not, don't buy it. As stewards of a brand, I think we gotta be really clear about who we are and not thoughtlessly go into a lot of partnerships that ultimately dilute um, our brand identity. So we thought about it, nothing to announce right now. But if the Tesla team ever reaches out and thank you for the cameo, we might consider it. <laughs> One million? It's usually based on skill, but if you were to buy a hundred phone two A's, you'll get a job. Let's put it that way. If you've bought 25, send a video with all of them and the receipt to show that you've bought all of them and then you'll get a job. You can be an intern. So we looked at some leaks today and leaks are good, but it doesn't really capture the full essence of the product, especially if the leaks are based on estimations of what the product would look like. Well, now you've seen the design of the phone today, I think you should make a decision for yourself. What are the pigs called in Angry Birds? Called uh, angry pigs or helpless pigs? I don't know. Sad pigs, scared pigs, bad piggies, bad piggies.